Welcome back. I'm James from Epilogue Laser. In today's session, we're going to be taking a look at our top tips for denim engraving. We'll start out by showing you how to dial in your settings for the best engraving quality. We'll show you how to optimize those settings for different custom items. We'll show you a full walkthrough step by step of how to prepare your graphics for laser. We'll talk about how to optimize your graphics so you get the best engraving possible and even talk about which are the best denims for engraving. Let's get started. Now my first tip for working with denim is the same tip I give with working with any new material, and that's take the time to dial in your settings. Now denim's a great material to work with with laser because it's a cotton-based material, and reacts very well to a CO2 laser. What we're gonna be trying to do today is just remove that top indigo dye layer without burning the fabric or weakening it. And we've cut up some old jeans to be able to test our settings. We're gonna to try to find that sweet spot for speed, power, and resolution. Now every denim is gonna be different, but this should give us a good base level to get started. So a great way to test out your material settings is to create a grid with different variables for speed, power, resolution, frequency, anything that you think is going to affect your engraving. Now, a nice feature of the job manager is we already have this built in. So if we come into the epilogue job manager, I can see all my installed systems. We've selected our Fusion Edge 3680 watt. Now I can come over to the jobs tab. And this is gonna be all the jobs I've sent to the laser. And in the uncategorized job folder, I'm gonna click this generate button. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna create that grid pattern for us. So we'll go ahead and set this up to a five by five test. And I'm gonna choose my first variable. Now I know I want my speed to be constant. I, I'm gonna use full speed on this 100%. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose power as my first variable. And I'll go from 35 up to about 55 for my power settings. And for my second variable, we're just trying to take the dye off the top of the fabric. So we don't need an overly high resolution here because we don't wanna to remove too much fabric. So for resolution, I'm gonna set this from 200 up to 400 dots per inch. And this is gonna be my dot density, so also my line density. So how close together those dots of the laser are firing. I'll set my speed at a constant of 100. And finally, I'm gonna choose a dithering pattern of Stucky. And this is just going to randomize those dots. So even at a lower resolution, I'm gonna get a nice engraving. Once I'm happy with that, I'll click Save. Now I can open that up and it's gonna go into our dashboard and I can just use the cameras to place this. I'll put it up here on the top left corner, so if these settings don't work out, I can run a second test on my scrap piece. Now over here on the processes side, you can see each of the colors of the grid have been assigned a different power and resolution setting. So we'll go ahead and print that, go over the laser and see how this comes out. So here at the laser, we've got that denim on a Seclima sticky mat, so we're just going to jog our laser head over and press the auto focus button so we can get that to the correct height and then we'll just start that job up and let it run Once the job's done, we'll just go ahead and take this out. Just look for which one looks like we've got the whitest mark without burning the material. And it looks like this one right here is gonna be the one we wanna use. So once you've picked out that mark that you like best, what you're gonna do is just come in here and find the corresponding box. And this one's gonna be this blue one. So I'll scroll down to that. Then once I find that one, I can see that my settings were 350 DPI with 100% speed, 55% power. So another tip for this is when you've dialed in your setting, save it. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and click export to material. And I'm gonna choose my fabric folder that I've created. I'm just gonna call this dark denim engraving and go ahead and save that. Now, whenever I'm running a denim file, I can just pull up that setting and be ready to go. Now, 
Now in a perfect world, you'd be offering the same denim every time so you know you've got your settings dialed in. Since this won't always be the case, it's great to be able to test those base settings to make sure that they're perfect. Now a great way to do this is find a hidden place on the denim. Here we've got the inside of uh, the cuff of these jeans, and I've just put a little star here that I'm going to go ahead and use those settings on and print that over the laser just to make sure our settings are perfect before we do the full custom engraving. So we'll go ahead and start that up and see how it comes out. And I can see here I got a nice white mark. Those base settings are going to work well on these jeans. So using something like this craft foam is a great way to hold your piece flat. Now it's really important, you've got that entire area you're gonna engrave as flat as possible so you get a nice even engraving. You can see here we still have a little bit of give to the fabric. So what I'm gonna do is just add a few uh, magnets to the ends and that'll help hold this all in place nice and flat. So next we'll go through the full step-by-step -step process of setting up this engraving for the jeans. We're using Illustrator here, but you can use any graphic software you want. And all you need to do is set your page size, the size of the area you want to engrave. So here we've got it 15 inches by 5 inches. And I brought in a fun train design that we'll use to engrave that. So all I have to do is print that, and you'll just send it over to your laser now. Here we've chosen the epilogue engraver, and I'll go ahead and hit print. Now what that's going to do is send that over to the epilogue dashboard where we have all of our settings, our camera view, everything, to make it easy for setup. Now I can just bring that in, place that wherever I want to engrave it. I can resize it, I can do whatever I want with it. Once I'm happy with the placement, then all I have to do is import my material settings. So I'll go ahead and bring in those denim settings that we tested. And I'll set it to bottom to top engraving and send that over to the laser. So here at the laser, we'll select the train denim design from the control panel and click start to begin engraving. So here's our finished engraving. You can see it picked up all those lines really nicely. We've got a nice white engraving here. Came out really beautiful. When laser engraving denim, your graphic design can really make or break your final results. The unique texture of the denim fabric doesn't translate well for every graphic. So we're gonna talk a little bit about how to optimize your graphics for the best possible results. Now you want to start out by making sure you're starting with the best graphic format possible to give you the greatest chance of success. And we've got two versions of the same logo here. This is a bitmap. This is an SVG vector file. With the vector file, if I want to resize that, I can see that I'm going to keep those nice crisp lines throughout the graphic. If I do the same thing with the bitmap file, I'm going to lose a lot of that crispness as I go in close, and it's just not going to be as nice of engraving. Next up is to look at the contrast of the piece. The higher your contrast within the graphic, the better it's gonna come out. And one of the ways you can improve the contrast is by removing the color from the graphic. Here, we've taken that same logo and removed those teal colors. And we already have a much nicer logo to engrave. Finally, if you remove all the gray from the graphic, you're gonna have the best contrast possible. Here, we just have a black and white image. We've taken out those grays and I think that's going to give us the best results. We're going to go ahead and engrave both this grayscale one and the one without the grays and show you what the difference is. So here are the final results when we engrave those two graphics, and you can see how much crisper and cleaner the one on the right is. 
taking a few minutes to improve your graphic and optimize it really makes a big difference for your final results. Now, one final thing that I did to try to improve this graphic was I put it inside of a fabric loop to hold it as flat as possible. This really shows off what a difference I can make. You've lost some of the dye differentiation in the engraving and gotten a much cleaner engraving. When working with a bulkier item like a jean jacket or a denim shirt, one thing I like to do is use that fabric loop to hold the area I'm going to engrave as flat as possible. But then I also place that on top of some boxes. And what this allows me to do is get all that extra fabric out of the way, make sure the laser head's not going to run into it. So I'll go ahead and place my graphic. And I tested out some settings for this shirt, just doing a small uh, heart shape on some extra denim at the bottom. And this is a pretty thin material, so I don't want to use as much power on it. So actually, I went all the way down to 25% power. So what I'll do then is I'll just go ahead and save those settings in my fabric folder as medium blue denim shirt. I'll go ahead and print that over the laser. So with the file over at the laser, we'll go ahead and select it, hit go, and start engraving. So that really came out beautifully. Nice and white engraving and just perfectly positioned, flat across that whole piece. It looks great. The type of denim you use makes a big difference to the quality of the mark that you're gonna get with the laser engraving. A heavyweight denim, a 12 to 14 ounce, really is the best for any type of engraving. And you're gonna find these with your jeans, your jean jackets. It really gives you a really nice mark and you can get a nice bleached mark with that deep indigo color. Now, when you go into a lighter denim, what we found in our testing was that the sweet spot for getting a white engraving is very narrow. So you have to make sure that the fabric is very, very level and that you really dial that in. Even then, you're just going to get a lighter mark and it's not going to be as much contrast as you may be looking for. A synthetic denim, which is often a stretchable denim, doesn't always work well either. Some of the ones that we tested, we actually would burn before we actually got a mark on it. It would go straight from blue to black. So you want to avoid these denims as well. Thanks for joining us today. If you found these tips helpful, be sure to like the video. And if you've got some tips of your own for laser engraving denim, leave them in the comments area. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to our channel so you find out when the latest videos are coming out from Epilogue Laser. If you'd like to find out more about Epilogue Laser, click the link in our description, go to our website and fill out that form. You can even set up a hands-on demo where you can try out some of these fabrics and other materials on the laser, see all the other things that you can engrave with an Epilogue Laser system. Thanks again for joining us, and we'll see you again soon.